then carefully try to pull them in through this. At this point, you, you can, it'll get stuck there, so be very careful. Don't try to bend or... Like you see right here where it gets stuck? It, it gets stuck there for some reason. you got to finagle it a bit. You may have to twist it about. But do not apply too much pressure. You may accidentally bend it. Or, God forbid, break it. Alright, so we got these done. The next row is row number two. So these two are done. So like before we have to... There's a marker right here. So be careful what you do. Now... Hold on a second, I gotta figure this out. Because this curves like that. To put this on... You Actually, you gotta do this because I realize that you have to do it twice. You may want to stick it in here first. Then try to turn it about one of the um, the curve umbilicals. I have to. Poor choice of tool. I think that's it. So you stick one in there, and then stick the other one in there. Careful. Now both of them end up here in the back. There we go. This one serves as a clamp. You gotta make sure they're in there, and then close them up. I think that's it. And then finally put the signature commander fin on top. And there you have it. There we go. Now for some reason the the eyeball came about. I'll have to check. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Like so. And here's what it looks like with the decals on. Uh, this one has very few decals. As you can see, there's only two here and two in the sides and one in the back. So that's the only uh, decals that's required for this kit. Let's finishing up this kit right now with the. Now we're going to move on to the weapons build of the real grade Char Zaku 2. I'm going to begin with the Zaku machine gun. First up, I'm going to get the butt stock. And then we'll need this the actual weapon housing. And I guess we need to put these two over it, like that. Let's remove a little bit of excess plastic that's here. There we go. Now, this is one of the grips. Everything's falling off. Alright, so in this position and like this, it's not 
snap it into place. But this little part here, if you guys can see this, yes, Godzilla, shut up. You want to put them in here. That's actual. That's the um, the the peg joint that you use to have the manipulators hold on to this kit when you're on it. You want to put when you want to put them on. And it's also used for something else, which we'll show off later on. Then we take the sight. Oh, please stop falling for the life of me. You take this sight, which I've already pre-done and put in the clear plastic, as you can see there. Come on, Joe. There it is. You see? So you slide them in through this hole until it goes all the way in and then put the barrel in. Uh, I think there's a specific way of doing it so there we go. And then finally the, uh, the nozzle. Again, specific way of doing it. And then finally the actual magazine uh, drum for this machine gun. I don't understand why you want to show off the bullets even though you're going to have it covered and never show it off again. I mean, I think it's kind of ridiculous to say the least. But, you know, that's my inter that's That's just me. There we go. So that completes the machine gun, which looks pretty nice. And such a simple design. Next up is the bazooka, and then let's see, I don't see any right or wrong way for this, but I'll just keep it this way, you take the one part of the housing, put it right through, and then take the other one, and then close it up, uh, yeah, like that. You have this um, site here, and with the last piece of the clear plastic, putting it on the side where it shows the um, the curvature of the, of the lens, you put it in like that. Close them up like there, so you have the adjustable site. Almost forgot. We need to put. Um, Actually, let's put this one here. Right, just saw that coming. Okay. Then we put this part here again. snaps into place and then of course the the rear black the back blast nozzle for this so that guy's complete and the last weaponry of course is the heat hawk which all you need to do is put these two parts in together uh, yeah there we go and there it is so the weapons are done. Now I just realized something. We're not done yet with this kit. We need to do the hands. Yeah. And carefully remove the hands from its base, from the tree. I'm glad I don't have to at least assemble the hands itself. Now there's a part here that I need to, I guess, carefully remove. Here we go. 
No, I gotta... Let me see. Turn this around. Well, hold on a second. 